Hey guys, it's Kyle, the Lawn Mentor here. Hope everybody's doing really good and uh, hope your overseeding projects are coming in hot. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that a lot of the decisions that I make about products that I apply to my lawn are strictly driven by my soil tests that I conduct every year to make sure that I'm putting the right nutrients in my soil. And well, this past year, in the beginning of the season, when I uh, did my soil test, I found that I was extremely deficient in potassium. Now I say extremely because I did some research to actually find out, you know, when you get your soil test back, that bar being as low as it is, what does it actually mean? And uh, there's actually a chart that they give you usually with your soil tests that tell you how many PPM or parts per million you have of a particular nutrient in your soil. And my potassium parts per million was in the very, very low range and uh, did some research to find out a particular university, I can't remember who, basically did some studies, find out what is an appropriate application rate or how many pounds of potassium available in your soil. If you have this many parts per million in your soil, you need to apply this many pounds of potassium. And I was in the lowest category of parts per million, which means I needed to apply the most potassium potassium that I could. And there are lots of fertilizers on the market that uh, do have potassium in them, but when you actually do the math to find out how many pounds is going down on the ground of a particular nutrient, it's not usually as much as you think it is. One of the fertilizers that you guys know that I've used is uh, Stress Blend, which is actually considered to be a high potassium fertilizer. It is a 7020 fertilizer, which means that in terms of macronutrients, it has potassium in it the most, 20% in fact. And the application rates uh, per the bag are three pounds per thousand. So if we do some math to find out what 20% of three pounds per thousand is, you're basically getting 0.6 pounds of potassium down per application. And if I recall, I think I was in like five, six or seven pounds of potassium was appropriate to elevate my potassium levels in my soil. Anyways, all that to say, I needed something with more kick, something that has more potassium in it and not necessarily uh, all of the other things like nitrogen or micronutrients because I'm supplementing those through normal fertilizer and biostimulants. I really just need to get that potassium level up because it helps with overall plant health. It helps support water and nutrient uptake and uh, disease resistance and just overall health of the plant. I like to think of potassium as kind of like the multivitamin for grass. So I bought a uh, fertilizer that is specifically high in potassium and nothing else. And let me show you what it's called. SLP is naturally occurring mineral that aids in overall plant vigor, disease resistance, and stress recovery. SLP has a low salt index and is excellent for lawns with potassium deficiency, like the lawn mentors and maybe yours. This slow released, low dust formula is recommended for lawns at a rate of two pounds per thousand, which I'll be following today. And it can be applied every four weeks as needed, but I will break that rule and do it at probably two or three. So sue me. This is the fertilizer that I'm talking about and it is called sulfate of potash or SOP and if you look at the analysis on the bag it is a 0048 which means this has no nitrogen, no phosphorus and 48 percent potassium, which is high. Stress blend is 20%. If you are in a situation where you are severely, severely deficient in a particular nutrient, you might need something like sulfate of potash to uh, really elevate those levels. If we do some math, math here at two pounds per thousand with basically 50% uh, potassium, that means that every time I put down an application of this, I'm getting one full pound of potassium down on the ground, which is great because I need to get those potassium levels up. So over the next couple weeks, we're gonna use this entire bag, get it into the soil. I wanna load as much as I can into the soil so that it can, uh, the grass can take what it needs now. And on top of that, it can also have what it needs next year. So let's weigh this out. I have about 4,000 square feet at an app rate of two pounds per thousand. That means I need eight pounds of product in my spreader to go down on the lawn. So let's go ahead and get that weighed out. All right, let's go ahead and get this all teared out here. All right, so that's about four. And you can also 
always transfer this to your spreader on the concrete, not on the grass. All right, so there's our first four pounds. We need a second four pounds. That's over four pounds. So I got like 4.4 here. So I got 8.4 pounds here, which is fine because you know, you're not gonna get, usually don't get an exact application. Let's go ahead and put these away. And then we will get to spreading. So here's what the product looks like. It is blue. It is coated in a polymer that makes it slow release. So you don't have as great of a chance to burn your lawn when you're applying this. It is a slow release. So we will go ahead and put this application on the lawn just like we do with our other granular apps. And we will come back in about two or three weeks and we'll do a repeat application and then another two or three weeks and another repeat application and that will finish off the bag. So I just wanna reiterate, the whole reason why I went with SOP to, instead of like a bunch of stress blend is because I really just want to focus on getting just the potassium up and I want to do it more quickly. And this is a highly concentrated form of potassium. And so that's why I chose this. And so if you have a severe potassium deficiency in your lawn also, sulfate of potash or SOP might be a good option for you. So I'll have a link down in the description for where I bought this from on Yard Mastery. It was on sale when I bought this. Uh, it wasn't full price, it was discounted. So hopefully it's still on sale uh, when you guys go check it out. But fall is a great time to get this on the lawn. So I'd highly encourage it if you have a potassium deficiency. So the setting on the bag for this spreader is 3.25. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it on 3.25. Pretty small prills, so this should flow nice. Just like with any other granular, we're just gonna go ahead and crisscross around the yard after we do a trim pass. And uh, tomorrow it's gonna rain, so this will get watered in real nice. And then we'll be done. From the top, make it drop, that's some sop, that's so beat. From the top, make it drop, that's some sop, that's so beat. Get a bucket and a mop, that's some sop, that's so beat. Macaroni and some sop, that's some weight. Oh, that's it squealing on me. Why are you squealing, Bessie? Why are you squealing? So now I'm doing my other crisscross. Applesauce. I went left to right, now I'm going up and down. Small prill size really goes down in the, uh, in the canopy really well. So there's about how much product we have left, which is perfect. I'll just go ahead and dump that back in the bag and uh, blow this off, blow this back into the yard. Make sure we don't have any in the uh, streets or anything. And then tomorrow, Mother Nature will water it in for me. So that's all I got for you guys tonight. You can uh, consider SOP as a product to get some real pounds on the ground of potassium into your soil so that your plant can take it up and use it when it needs it. So like I said, I'll have a link in the description uh, if you want to see where I picked this up from. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you uh, like this video, I really appreciate it if you would go ahead and give that a thumbs up. And if you wouldn't mind, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. That really uh, helps me out. And especially when you guys like and comment on it, it helps YouTube spread my channel to other people. So I really appreciate when you guys do that. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments. I'd love to chat with you guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.